Hi everyone, welcome back to Pegasus Collectibles channel from Whittier, California. Today is Friday, August 24th, I think, 2018. And today I'm going to do this Honda Civic for a customer. He's requesting that I put wheels on it. So, let's do it. I got some rims right here that I already selected that I think they look okay. Pretty cool. And then I got my pliers. I'm gonna show you what, guys the way I do it. You guys have your own way, so I have my own way. So I'm not drilling the bottom, I'm not gonna drill. So I'm gonna cut the tire. You only do this if you wanna save the axle and put some glasses too, because safety first, remember that. And for kids, I don't recommend this for the kids. Only for adults, because I don't want you guys to get injured or hurt. And usually I wear glasses when I'm doing this, but I wanna come out looking cute on the video, so no glasses. All right, so you see me cutting the tire? This is only if you want to save the axle, okay? That's the only reason you do this. Like if you don't have an axle at your house, you know, you just have the wheels. So basically I cut the wheel out right here. I'm trying to get to the middle just to get the axle, the tip of the axle actually. And usually the hot wheel, uh, Tires are better than this brand. This is my used to. So this this kind of plastic is really difficult to cut sometimes, but my pliers can handle it. So you see, I'm cutting the tire on the inside. Well, the outside actually. I'm trying to get to the middle, whatever way I can. So I'm doing this just to avoid drilling the car. So see, I got to the middle. Now I'm cutting the tip right here, in the middle. So I'm cutting it towards myself, cut the tip, see the axle came out. That's only if you want to save the same axle or use it in the same car. So now I'm cutting the back, same procedure, cut the tire out. Sometimes you have to struggle a little, because it depends on the, on the kind of plastic you're cutting. Get to the tip. When I got to the tip, cut it towards me. Hold on, gonna do it. It's almost there. See the tip, see the tip, cut it. Take it out. And there they are. But since I already have axles on this two tires, set of wheels, I'm just gonna cut the tip. Of course, cut it towards you, not towards anyone else because this thing could injure your eye. Got the tip on that one, got the tip on this one. And now I measure the axles on the car and usually I put this tip right here. See the tip right here the, the, of this holding the wheel? I put it on the driver's side because you, know, you want to go cool on the driver's side. Kind of like if you want to go cruising. So now I measure the axle to see this, this, the length of it. <clears throat> See right here? So it's pretty long. I'm going to cut half of that with the pliers to the bottom. Cut it towards me. Cut it towards me. Same thing in the bottom, the front wheel. So you see right there? Now you measure again. You put the wheel on to see how much. Yeah, that's perfect right there. With the front wheel. Okay, that's perfect. So now that I have the perfect length on the axle through the inside, see right here? Now I'm gonna use my glue. It's called DAP Rapid Fuse Gel Glue. You could buy this at Home Depot or Walmart. But, so I've been using this glue a lot. The tip already got corroded with all the excessive glue. So I'm gonna use a little bit of a uh, technique that I found not how to use this glue with taking out the, the cap. So I'm gonna use a little bit of a small axle. I have a leftover axle that I don't need to use anymore. So I, I, I drip out the glue through here. So I put some glue here. So put on the tip of the rim right here. And put it inside out. I'm gonna put some of the glue inside with the axle. There it goes. Right here. You gotta look at it. 
I'm putting the glue inside with the axle. Then go do the same thing to the other one. Make sure it's in there pretty good. And then after that, what I do is clean the tip. I just put on a piece of paper, whatever you might find, clean the tips of the rim. And then you get a piece of paper or a napkin and put put it right here on the back of this rim because you're gonna have to push the tire up right here so and then you twist it around a little bit because there's gonna be glue inside the wheel and don't touch the body of the car just leave a little bit of clearance which I did on that same thing on this one Don't touch the body, just leave a little bit of clearance in there. You can see like in the bottom. And then you wait like about a minute and it will be glued and then you're good to go. Then you see you have to drill no bottom, no screw no, on the bottom. And this is the easiest way and the fastest way to do a rinse swap. And then you can say you, you know, you professionally did it. But of course. Let's see how the car looks. Okay, the car looks like this now, and it rolls too. So there it is, everyone. That's how you do it. Some DAP glue, pliers, you can buy at Home Depot for like 30 bucks. And your car is pimping out now, and it rolls. And come get your wheels over here. Yeah, you can get your wheels right out, play these collectibles. Okay. Bottom, it rolls. You're good. They say the car looks pretty good with those rims. Now it looks like an expensive high-end Toyoshi Hot good. Wheel. Uh, Honda, Honda uh, Civic. Honda Civic. And it looks pretty nice. So thank you guys for watching my channel. Make sure you like my video, subscribe, and remember we're trying to reach 500 subscribers so we can give things away from the store, like five things. So talk to you guys later. Adios.